Hello. Uh, today I want to talk about pressure sensitive buttons and PCSX2 on the Steam Deck uh, because it's kind of a pain in the ass to set up and it's not really straightforward. You can kind of look up how to do it, but uh, I'm just going to kind of dodge all that and show you exactly what to do. So first up, um, I have a PlayStation 3 controller plugged in via USB to the Steam Deck. You can connect it via Bluetooth, but you won't get um, pressure sensitivity unfortunately. At least I found. Maybe that'll be added in a future firmware update or something, but for now, that's how it is. You can also use a PS2 to PS3 USB adapter. And I got one here that's a little different. It's a Pelican. And then this one is uh, just a generic one you'd find on eBay or Amazon. They both work. Uh, and I like those a lot. They just map as PS3 controllers, so all of the instructions I show in this video will apply to those too. All right. Uh, when you get PCSX2, I use the app image version, not the flat pack. I'm not sure if this will work with the flat pack, to be honest with you. Um, if it doesn't, just get the app image. When you use an app image, you can make folders with the same name followed by dot local config or cache to make it so instead of storing in your home directory, it'll store in the same directory you keep the app image. I do that. It's more convenient for me. If you don't, I'll show you the directories you need to follow to get the input profile set up. So another thing you want to do is when you add PCSX2 to Steam, which should be at the bottom here, yep, you want to hit this little controller icon and yeah, there it is. Disable Steam input because if Steam input is enabled, you're uh, you're gonna have a problem where it won't detect the pressure parts of the controller. It'll just map like a normal controller, and I'll show you that right now, actually. So Steam input is enabled right now for this instance of PCSX2, and if I go to controllers and I go to map something, I'm gonna be using the PC, uh, PS3 controller here, just the X button watch. Instead of showing the axis, it just so it shows SDL0A. Um, because it's going through Steam input, and Steam input doesn't support pressure-sensitive buttons, valve, please fix. So, oopsie, hit the wrong button there. Yeah, you want to disable Steam input, and I've done that with this shortcut right here, but I'm not going to be using that shortcut because it has uh, it's set up for full screen and everything else. So moving forward, I'm going to disable Steam input. and launch it. Now when I go to controller settings and I go to map this, you'll see it does like all kinds of crazy shit. It's, <laughs> and I'm gonna shift, uh, shift left click on it to show you exactly what it did. It says SDLA and SDL0 access 12. The problem is, is you need full access 12 and you would have to go in and manually edit through the text file all of these inputs to be exactly what they're supposed to be to be mapped properly. And I've done that. So what I'm, you're going to need to do is just copy the file I have in the downloads. It should be a 7-zip with um, PCSX2s. You're going to go to Input Profiles in the settings here. And I'm going to give you SDL0 and SDL1. I've got a bunch of other ones here that are just for when I'm using multiple PS2 controllers and when it is confusing, but all you really need to know is SDL0 and SDL1. Sometimes in big picture mode, Steam will map your PS3 controller to SDL1 instead of SDL0, and the only fix for that is to change the mappings for SDL1 instead of SDL0, which is why I have multiple files here. But literally all you're going to do is you're going to go to your config, which might be, if you have it set up like I do, in the same directory as your app image with the appimage.config, and then you'll be here. Otherwise, you'll need to go to your home directory, hit Control H to show hidden files, and then go into your config folder. And there should be a PCX folder, PCSX2 folder in here that you can go into, and then it should look just like this. So you're going to go into PCSX2, input profiles, and just drag the INIs that I have right in here. Now, when you launch PCSX2, you can go to Settings, Controllers, and then go to Editing Profile down here. Go to SDL0 or SDL1, whichever applies for you. And you can see over here, it's SDL0. It says PS3 Controller SDL0. 
hit apply your profile. Yes. And then you can close out of this. Now, uh, let's see. Gran Turismo 4 has pressure sensitive buttons. So let's do that. All right, so I have X mapped to accelerate. So you can see down in the corner there, right there. That's working. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's it. Goodbye.